Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for presentation of colors in our national anthem. Please remain standing until the colors exit the hall. Color Guard, present colors. Good evening. It is, it is my honor to represent the 2,700 men and women who stay on the watch on the last frontier. And Jack represents the folks that are stationed here in Ketchikan. So this is, this is the audience participation part of it, but you can stay in your seats. But I want you to imagine, okay, you're 19 and a half years old. Okay, you've been born and raised and you live in Salina, Kansas. Okay, now hang on. The world that you know is one day drive from Salina, Kansas. That is your universe. But the good news is your husband of 17 months is a world traveler. He has been to Cape May, New Jersey and he's finishing up Coast Guard boot camp. And he texts you and says, good luck, honey. We're getting orders to Alaska. And you're about ready to load up with the Coast Guard's newest seaman apprentice. You're three months old, and you're going to move at least 2,000 miles away from every member of your family and every friend that you have in the world. So you can just imagine what it's like to go through that. But if that seaman apprentice and his wife and child from Salina, Kansas, get orders to catch a can Alaska, they are coming to a community. And they're coming to a community that embraces the Coast Guard. And that's what tonight is about. You folks have been recognized by the Commandant of the Coast Guard, the United States Senate, and the House of Representatives as a Coast Guard city. <laughs> And it recognizes that since 1918, when the Lighthouse Service started putting a buoy depot here, that you folks have sustained Coast Guard operations and Coast Guard families. The way this process works is the city applies, and the criteria is pretty lofty. You have to demonstrate a close and enduring commitment to the Coast Guard and the service members that live there, and a range of activities, programs, and actions that are unusual and sustained in the level of support to the Coast Guard and their families. There are only 22 communities out of over 350 locations of the United States Coast Guard that have been recognized with this honor. So thanks to the Chamber of Commerce for allowing us an event to announce this huge, huge accomplishment for the city. Julie, thank you for running the events. Mr. Yep. Mr. Vice Mayor, congratulations on a great accomplishment. And on behalf of 150 active duty members, 50 civilian employees, and their families, and on behalf of that seaman apprentice, that three month old, and the wife from Salina, Kansas, congratulations and thank you for being in Coast Guard City. Now we're going to make it really, really official. So I have here a nice letter from our Commandant, Mr. Lou Williams III, Dear Mayor Williams, it is my pleasure to congratulate Ketchikan, Alaska on being named a Coast Guard City. Ketchikan shares a strong connection with the U.S. Coast Guard, which dates back to the early 1900s. The creation of the search and rescue locker and an establishment of a lighthouse headquarters and depot. I commend your city for the dedication to maritime safety, reflected in your hosting and co-sponsoring the first full-scale 
cruise ship mass evacuation exercise, which drew participation from government agencies and private industry from all across North America. The people of Ketchikan routinely demonstrate their support and commitment to the U.S. Coast Guard through the annual Military Appreciation Day, event on Veterans Day, free breakfasts distributed on Memorial Day, and 12 days of Christmas program. It is with pride in our service that we accepted the first city Rotary's Club's Excellence to Customer Satisfaction Award, recognition of outstanding support to the community. On behalf of the men and women who have served and continue to serve in Ketchikan, as well as every member of the United States Coast Guard, I again congratulate you on this achievement. Signed, Paul F. Zumkoff, Admiral, United States Coast Guard. And I mentioned the fact that uh, the nomination goes to the U.S. Senate, the U.S. House, with the confirmation of both those halves of our Congress, a proclamation that was approved. And that's what Commander Jackson will read right now. Thank you, Admiral. Good evening. It's my distinct honor to read the proclamation designating Ketchikan as a Coast Guard city. On behalf of the Commandant of the Coast Guard and your local Coast Guard men and women and their families, I'll read the pro proclamation. Proclamation of the United States Coast Guard. Whereas the people of Ketchikan, Alaska share a special and unique history with the United States Coast Guard and have provided a home for the Coast Guard since 1918. When the United States Lighthouse Service began operations to serve as a buoy depot, and whereas the Coast Guard presence in the city has grown and evolved. With the cultivation of mutually supportive and beneficial relationship between local Coast Guard units and the people of Ketchikan, and whereas the people of Ketchikan and local businesses generously support Coast Guard members and their families through donations to educational and scholarship programs, and whereas the, K the city of Ketchikan <laughs> Port and Harbors Department co-sponsored host and hosted the first ever full-scale cruise ship mass evacuation exercise, drawing participation from government agencies and private industries all over North America, which led into mass evacuation plans developed throughout the state of Alaska. And whereas the First City Rotary Club bestowed the Excellence in Customer Satisfaction Award to the United States Coast Guard in recognition of its outstanding support to the community, and whereas the people of Ketchikan organized an annual Military Appreciation Day event for the Veterans Day and provides free breakfast on Memorial Day and during the 12 days of Christmas program. And whereas the friendliness and hospitality of Ketchikan are reflected into the multitude of special events throughout the year and services including discounts from local businesses for Coast Guard members and their families to honor their contributions to the nation. Now therefore, I, Paul F. Zunkov, Commandant of the United States Coast Guard, in accordance with Public Law 105-383, enacted by the United States Congress and signed by the President on November 13, 1998, do hereby take great pleasure in proclaiming that Ketchikan, Alaska is to be known officially as a Coast Guard city. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand this fifth day of November in the year of our Lord, 2015. Signed, Paul F. Zukov, Admiral, United States Coast Guard.